Um, price push lower here. I, me I mentioned that. Made a low here, pull us back, breaks lower, breaking structure here, breaking this low right here, right? All right, so it bounces off that 60 range, that area of support I told you about, right? But then it pushes up. I mean, it, it bounces, rejects this area, flips up, turns, break structure here, okay? Pushes up, pulls back. Come on. So it's bounced off this high, little, high volume area. I'm looking forward to come up back to this. It's a high volume area right here. So I'm looking to try to price push up here and try to get filled here. So I'm just scalping on the way back up off this area down here. Welcome back to the channel. This is Future Trading with Mike. And today is the 14th of April, guys. It's Thursday morning here. I'm trading and looking at the, uh, I'm getting ready to trade the E mini S&P 500 futures, guys. That's the ES. I'm a futures trader. Um, anyone that knows been following the channel knows that I trade this particular market each and every day. Appreciate everyone tuning in to the channel today. Uh, to all those who have subscribed to the channel, thank you, thank you, thank you for doing so. Um, I just ask one thing that you make sure that you got your post notifications turned on. So that's just simply clicking on that little bell icon next to the uh, subscribe button. And if this is your first time watching one of the videos, thank you. Uh, however, you've tuned in or found the channel this morning hope hopefully we can gain you as a loyal subscriber so take the time watch the content i'm a price action trader i, I trade purely and strictly based on um just following price action you know understanding uh market structure understanding the ebbs and flows of what the market's trying to do and i love to take trades on uh, pullbacks to certain key areas of um uh, really uh, supply and demand areas i like to trade out of uh, but you know, uh, the support resistance zone. So I always like to start off and recommend that, you know, before you get your day started, take a look, um, uh, what the higher time frame is doing, whatever your higher time frame chart is for me, it's a 60 range. So I always start off my daily trading routine of looking at the higher time frame and then, uh, depicting to see if it's in a, uh, supplier demand zone and then trade accordingly on my lower time frame. So, uh, from, from there, I look to, you know, set zones or mark zones off my charts and start scalping, uh, scalping during my day trading session. So this is my live recorded day, tra day trading session, and I'm going to go ahead and get into it this morning. Um, prior day, we, which was the 13th here, we traded uh, within, inside of uh, April the 12th, a trading range. So um, yesterday we just got, yesterday there wasn't too much activity in the market. Uh, we got a little uh, push up. Uh, during the early morning session here, pull back, made a higher high. This is on a 60 range now, so this is the higher time frame. So, um, and we kind of broke some structure to on the way to the upside. So, if we were looking, um, really trying to see how to trade this, um, right now, being that we kind of broke here, you know, on the 12 male low here and pushed up, pull back. Made a little, made another low here. Okay, then we turn back around, bouncing off an area of support here on the higher time frame from either this uh, from March the 18th. I mentioned that yesterday in the video. Pushed up here, pulled back, form a structure, broke structure here. But we broke this high here, and then we broke structure here. So I'll probably be looking for some opportunities to go long here. Um, actually, price can actually bounce where it's at right now. It can reject. So, uh, but I would like to see it pull back into this area um most more more so down here in this area down here okay uh this would be more so the area of demand uh, i'll go ahead and mark that off here with this purple line um we'll mark it um let's see here yeah down in this area down here okay so right now price is a key area of support you know see it right here it is kind of bouncing so we'll take a look at the 12 range chart and just see what we got going on here. Um, what I want to see now, I want to see price kind of breaking structure to the upside. All right. So um, price, let me look at the 60 range again. Price must have came into some area of uh, yeah, right here, an area of supply off the higher time frame. Okay. Up here, this was the zone. I'm going to move this right here and bring this right here. This was, let's see. Push down, pull it back. Um, yeah, in this zone right here. Okay. So this would have been in the zone right here. 
price taps into it, and then it's starting to bounce. So I guess be careful because we do have supply sitting above, and this is an area price can bounce. So really, I would like to see price pull back or kind of push lower into this area of demand right here. But uh, if you do take for some reason take a long in this area here, be very careful because you have uh, supply off the higher time frame. So price can you know reject here, push up here, and then you know you may get kind of caught up and get trapped here. So be careful. All right. So let's take a look. Okay. So I mentioned that prices it came out here right right where price bounced at. Um, that's a key area. Well, that's an area of support off the higher time frame. So price will it can, it can bounce there, and that's what it's doing right now. So um, yeah. So let's kind of be mindful of what's going on here. So this purple line that represents that area of demand off the 60 range. So price may come to that area. Hopefully we get a we get a move to this area today and can kind of see some rejection, but I'm not sure what the market may do, but um let's see here. So it tapped into that area of supply up there, pushed down, broke some structure. So a push down, breaking structure here, making some uh, lower lows and lower highs on the way down, pulls back, breaks this low here, price can bounce here and come back down to here. Um, all right, so price is flipping right here, bouncing off that area. I showed you that area of uh, support off the 60 range and it's kind of pushing higher. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if we can get a uh, move back down here to the, well, I'm gonna leave it right there. Basically, back down to this area right here. I'm gonna move this red line out the way. So maybe we can get a pull back to this area here. Price did break a little structure to the upside here. So we'll see what happens if we can get a pull back. Okay, I'm just waiting to see what price is trying to do here. And I may go short. Okay, I'm short. Looking for price to come back down. That's this area down here. I'm gonna move this a little lower here. Ah, waiting for the break. There we go. Come on. Ah, look at that. It hit my prop, my second profit target by just a tick. I mean, just one tick away. Come on. Okay, there we go. We got field. All right. First uh, trader today. Okay, so. Um, price push lower here. I, I mentioned that. Made a low here, pulls back, breaks lower, breaking structure here, breaking this low right here, right? All right, so it bounces off that 60 range, that area of support I told you about, right? But then it pushes up. I mean, it, it bounces, rejects this area, flips up, turns, breaks structure here, okay? Pushes up, pulls back, breaks structure. But we're in this swing here, okay? Somewhere in this swing, price could reject it, right? All right, and flip and, and bounce and push lower. That it did, okay? When I saw price pulling back, we're tracing back, bouncing at one of these key areas, these key little levels right here, okay? Um, it, which are these key, key levels here, little small little levels here on the 12 range. These are classified as areas of um, supporting swings. You can call them supporting swings. And when price rejected, this one right here, okay? Flips, the moment it breaks below, uh, 4433, which still puts it at the upper end of the high volume area. I am short, guys. Okay, look at that. Nice run to the downside so far. So, um, yeah, we'll take a look here and see what prices, where price could actually uh, bounce at, maybe. Let's see. Well, we can get a little rejection here, but we got to be careful here. All right, price is uh, yep, I'm long. Come on. No, 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 no.
Come on. Come on. So it's bounce off this high little high volume area. I'm looking forward to come up back to this. It's a high volume area right here. So I'm looking to try to price push up here and try to get feel here. So I'm just scalping on the way back up off this area down here. Okay, first contract's filled. Come on. There we go. Okay, two points on the last contract. So a uh, little high volume note here, low volume area. I mentioned price before likes to move from a high volume area to low volume, to low volume nodes next to the high volume area. Um, so I scout from this high volume node back up here. But what happened was price it continued pushing lower. It um, um, swung into a little area right here, supporting swing, small little area there. Bounce rejected it. When I saw the rejection right here on the 12 range, I went long. Okay. And I took it from, like I said, it's high volume node, basically from 15 back up to 18, pretty much. So safe little trade right there. Price can, it still can push lower, like I told you, because let me look at the higher time frame because we probably are in a low volume area. Yeah, we're in a low volume area right here. So be careful because actually price can still push lower and hit into or come into, um, let's see. I mentioned this area down here which would be an area of uh, demand off the 60 range chart here. So um, yeah, so be careful right here. This is a key area down here around 4,400. So uh, two little trades so far today. Um, today is the 14th. Come on. Okay. All right, showing 25 ticks right now. Okay, 25 ticks. All right, what time is it? It's 10, about 10, 15 right now. See price pulling up, okay. So we have started breaking structures to the downside, so be careful here. Um, Price can move back to the upside, but be careful on this move back to the upside. Because technically price can price can bounce anywhere. I mean, if you look at the full range, you got lots of swings here to the downside. Like this could be an area here. So price can bounce anywhere on the way back to the upside. So um so basically what I do is I wait for a pullback to a to a key area or area of support, particularly into an area of more so supply and demand. Uh, so not only am I looking for supply and demand or rejection off the supply and demand area, either, either supply or demand from the 60 range, then I start to see if price is breaking structure on my lower time frame, my 12 range. And then if it is, Say, for instance, it's pushing higher, breaking structure. I'm looking for price to pull back to uh, a supporting swing. And within that swing, you know, it's particularly an area of demand, um, a supporting area of demand to take my trades from. So I want to follow and be in sync with the higher time frame. And I've covered this many, many times in many videos, guys. So there's a lot of videos on the channel here um, that cover and it's show because I trade this each and every day and I discuss my trades. So, it, 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 you know, uh, those videos show you and I talk about uh, why I took those trades and what I'm looking for. So, like right here, um, being that price broke, push down here, made a low pullback, made a lower low, lower high. So, where could price pull back to? Um, I mean, price can pull right back, back to, to structure right here to this uh, area of uh, resistance right here and then reject and push lower. But uh, I like to see it pull back into, you know, the upper portion here, which um, would be 
uh, this area right here around 32, 33 area, and then maybe look for rejection back down to the downside. Um, uh, we got a low right here. If you look at from a bigger standpoint, there's a low right here. We got a leg to the upside. Now price is, so there's a, there's a high here, a low here, okay, off this big swing. Price has formed a leg to back to the upside. Hasn't broke this low, I mean this high here, nor has it broke this low. So technically we're in a big wedge, but you can still trade according to what's going on, you know. Uh, price came up and it's leg to the upside. Even though we haven't broke this high over here yet, we did make a high on the push to the upside, okay. It pivots, turns around, taps into that 60 range supply zone, and then it starts to break to the downside, making lower lows and lower highs. Pull back here, breaking, making a lower low, lower high, lower low. So right now, short term, you could be looking for, you know, be looking for um, opportunities to uh, go sh go um, short right now. Um, give me one second. I'm trying to kind of show a channel to the downside. You see it here, moving to the downside. So uh, on pullbacks to key areas, like I said, this area right here, typically I want to see price pull back into um <clears throat> this area right here okay but it can pull right back to this red line as well okay this area right here this will be uh area of um resistance this right here this red line here will be more so area of supply off the 12 range okay why because price has already broke structure on the way down okay and then breaking structure on the way down means that price could do what Pull back to a key area and then and then push lower. That's how you trade it. So I'm gonna mark a little area here. Um I already got it right there. Okay. So this small little area here. Okay. Okay. So let's see what price is going to do now. Is it going to continue breaking structure to the downside? It could. Made a low, high, low, pulling back. So it could possibly, uh, let's see. It could possibly push lower. We'll see what happens. So basically, you know, the, the you got to understand market structure. Market structure is the, is, predominantly the most important thing um, and the key to this is is looking for those supply and demand zones and the key to that is making sure prices break in structure you know uh, when it tap or come to a, a key area off the 60 range chart whether it's supply or demand then you scale down like I say to your 12 range chart which I use my lower time frame chart which I use as my anchor chart and I want to see so if prices in an area hits an area of demand off the 60 range then I got to see it start breaking structure to the upside, okay? And breaking structure, I'm just going to, you know, kind of paint it out. So um, breaking structure means that it's made a, it rejects down here, say, for instance, if this was a level or the area of demand off of the 60 range. Then it turns around, it pushes up, pulls back, breaks structure, means it breaks this high here, okay? All right? And comes back, it can come right back to this area right here, which is support or tap back into an area of which will be supply that pulls back into the swing, this swing here, okay? And then it can push higher, all right? So it can keep doing that on to the up, going to the upside, okay? And each time it pulls back, you can be looking for rejection to go long. It's, it's, it's pretty simple, guys. Um, but you just gotta know, use the volume profile like I do. You know, when I took this short trade up here at the top here, um, price pulled back. Okay, it can reject anywhere within here, but uh, it pulled back to a little key supporting swing. And the moment that it broke below, what did I say? Um, 32 and three quarters, 32 and a half, right above this high volume area here. So if you're going short, you want to see price sitting above the outer edge of a high volume area and take it back down. Longs, you'd be looking at taking a trade. Um, like I did down here, like, was it down here? Yeah, rejection from right here was at this high volume node, 
right below it, the outer edge, and I'll take the trigger back up to the top volume area here. All right, so price is pulling back in this area here to that um I just that area I told you guys about right here to swing to the downside. So Mm. Yeah, I'm not sure. You gotta be careful here because, uh, Okay. Press came down, came down and hit my profit target in the first one by to the tick and then it bounced, right? Okay. First one there. Come on. Ah. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and take out here to scalp in this area right here. Be careful because price can bounce in these areas as well. You can see the full range because um, when price bounced out here, it, it, it broke up and broke some structure to the upside, but price can definitely come back down and uh, possibly test this lower area here at 18. I'm just scalping real quick, guys, trying to pick up a few. Uh, Let's see. So that was eight ticks right there. All right, so I'm about 33 ticks right now. See how it's bouncing right here. Got to be careful. They can keep pushing lower though. Yeah, it's coming back down here. Long.
Uh, I'll go ahead and take out. Yeah, okay. Let's bounce off this little swing right here. Taking that trade back up to the top top portion of the high volume area. So so pull back is projecting here and it could push higher. So but be careful because I did mention we have this um this area right here. Okay. So price really hasn't really kind of fully shown itself if it's if it's if it's um Rejecting this area down here that it wants to kind of you know continue pushing higher. Uh, right now, like I said, short term the trend is kind of to the downside here direction wise. If you look at the uh, that channel that I drew to the downside, so just be careful and I uh, picked up uh, just seven ticks right there. Okay, so I'm up 40 ticks right now. Okay. Forty ticks is not too bad. You know, it's only ten thirty right now. So but you gotta be mindful, you know, some you, you gotta look at your a lower time frame outside of the twelve range as well, like the four range here, because there's a lot of movement here, price rejected here. And typically what you wanna see on the rejection. Like to a pullback to a zone to an area, that price starts breaking structure to the upside. Not only like making a high, a, a high here, a low here, a higher low, and then a higher high, but you want to see it start breaking structure to the left side, right here as well. And the twelve range is not showing you that, but the four range is showing you some small micro swings where price has been chopping to the upside. So um, that's why price is pushing higher because it pushed up, pulled back, pushed up, pulled back. It's breaking structure on a move to the upside. As it's moving up, but it's also breaking structure over here. So you just gotta be mindful of those areas as well. Even the micro swings from from the uh, full range chart. Trade it in this trade accordingly. I may try to get into one more trade, um, but this is how I scalp every single day. You know, this is me scalping for a living. This is what I do. Um, you know, I always start off my my daily routine and looking at my higher time frame chart. Uh, kind of, kind of uh, looking at it, you know, kind of formulating or developing a, a which direction the market may be trying to go in. And I really want to see either in a hit in the area of supply or demand off the higher time frame. If it is, then I'm just going to follow suit on my my anchor chart and start market zones on my 12 range chart. It's it's that simple. Um, today's Thursday. Tomorrow we don't have. The market's closed, so because of the holiday, so um, there will not be any trade, and I won't be posting a video tomorrow. Um, but so far, the market market opened up around, I guess, typically around this area here. So this was a, just a, a, a pulling back and then pushing lower and making lower. So um, it's not too too much activity. Uh, Try not to make it, you know, too stressful for, for you guys. If you get into a situation where things start getting stressful, looks a little difficult, your cloud, your mind's a little cloudy, then just stop where you're where you're at. Throw the tile in and just wait for another day. Uh, they'll start losing money. You know, you take you take a trade and uh, it ends up being a bad trade. Not saying that, not to maybe take an opportunity, but I typically have a rule of thumb. If I get in two bad trades, I'm done for today. I'm not going to keep doing it because that just clearly tells me I'm not able to really read the market the way I should be reading it. So I'll just stand down, to be honest with you. You see how we're making structure to the upside, a high here, low, higher high, higher low, higher high. We're just a little channel to the upside. So you gotta be even careful when price pulls back to areas like this, because you know it could 
um, really just uh, pull back and push higher. So, but right now we're, we are tapping into, right now my, my, my mind frame is, is looking for shorts because of the short term structure that's formed to the downside. This little move it to the upside, it hasn't really shown me much. So, like that long I took uh, here, that would have been that was a great, that was a good long. Um, let's see. I took it on a pullback, right? But I took it on a pullback because I was also looking at my four range chart. So when it got up to 25, which is right here, it pulls back. I start looking to the left of my chart here, okay? And I start to see where it's already making structure and breaking structure. So I wanna see it start making structure, meaning making a higher high, higher low, breaking structure, taking out the highs and swinging to the upside, but also taking out structure over here, okay? Breaking structure. So this kind of stuff here can get you chopped up and, and trapped. So um, honestly, speaking, honestly speaking, because of this kind of structure right here, I, I don't want to be taking trades really going short right here at this area. I'm not saying I can't, but I, this kind of chopping stuff will get you, get you trapped. So <laughs> you just really got to know what you're doing, guys, to be honest with you. And if you do take a trade, like, all right, so price pushed up here. Um, it broke structure, made structure on the way down, a little market swing. It could pull back to this area right here, okay? But it, it probably won't be much for you to trade if you go short. So you just wait. So there's a channel to the downside right here, but also I'll show you. Um, here we go. I marked it already. Channel to the downside, but we also have a small little channel to the upside. See that? So you got to be able to see this stuff visually with your eyes as well. And be patient. No clicky, clicky, clicky. That'll get you in trouble. So you just see what price just did. I told you. See, it broke structure, a little micro swing to the downside, pulls back, boom, rejects it right here, you know. So, uh, what do I want to, could happen now? Price made it low here, pull back, made a higher low, I mean, higher, lower high, it could pull back and make a lower low here. So, then maybe look for an opportunity on a pullback to go short, right? That's the kind of things you look for, guys. Okay, so let's. Let's see if it's going to pull back now. Look at it. Mm, look at it. Ah, oh, it's pushing, right? So that was a short right there. On the pullback. On the pullback. Right here, this was the short right here. At 44, 44, 27 to go short. All right. Uh, I missed that trade. Okay. But I'm not going to beat myself up about it, right? So now we have to be careful because now we're still making, we got a low here, we got a lower, a high here, but now we got to be careful, right? Okay, let's see. Um, ah. Yeah, I'm long. Come on up. Oh, oh nah. man, I was wanting to take my trade back up to this area here, but it's fine because we're actually at the top end of this upper end of this high volume area. So, 
All right, scalp right there. Pull him back a little bit. That's okay. Um, okay, I just picked up. Okay, let's see. All right, picked up 14 ticks on that trade, so I'm up 54 ticks right now. Okay. All right. See the market pulling back. See, it didn't come back up to the swing, did it? It rejected halfway in this uh, swing to the downside, so. Uh, it could it could push higher now. Which I'm pretty sure it's going to probably push higher. Going long. Okay, scalping it. All right, it's gonna come back to this area right here. So it pulled back to this area right here. All right, to a swing here. Okay. Rejects, see a little rotation right there, a little W. Rejects, okay. Nothing really to block it here or to kind of prevent it from pushing higher on the lower time frame, full range, by low as I'm, I can go. Um, very low time, time frame. It pushes up, okay. So I'll take the trade from the lower end of the high volume area. Rejects it, okay. W formation, back up to the high, high end of it, the, the uh, high volume area. Pulls back. Okay, it will shake you out a little bit. Pulls back to this area right here, okay? Uh, which is support. And then uh, you can take another opportunity to go long right You can actually take, take an opportunity to go long right here. This would be the second test right here. And uh, take it up to this area right here, okay? So um, that's how you trade it. All right. So. All right, that was just 10 ticks there, so I'm up um, 64, oh, what did I say? I'm sorry, guys. Yeah, 64 ticks right now. Okay. And that's going to be it for me today. I'm going to go ahead and close it out, guys. Uh, this has, that's actually going to be it for me for the week um, because there's no trade tomorrow. If you're trading, please be safe in the market, and I will see you guys um, next week. Okay, see you in the video next week. And if this is your first time watching one of the videos, hey guys, please take the time right now to go ahead and hit that red button for us, that subscribe button, and join the team. Um, Content here is free, you know, just basically trying to help those out that may be beginner traders or learning, you know, trying to learn a strategy to use and, and, and within their trading plan that can help them profit each day. So thank you for viewing the uh, video today, and I'll see you guys next week. Take care.